Hello, guys. Hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. My book is now live. If you guys missed it, it's now live on the website. So if you guys go to the link in my bio, it's right there. If you guys already got yours, thank you so much. I'm so excited. Uh, I actually have so much anxiety right now. Like, I'm like, I need to get out of this house. Like, seriously. I'm just like in my house. So head to my bio. It's a link in the bio, link in the bio, link in the, link in the bio. Thank you guys so much. I am really excited. It's a little bittersweet though, I'm not gonna lie. I have so much anxiety right now. Like, I have so much anxiety and I'm like a little sad cause like, I don't know. I guess when I have like milestones and I do things, it's like a little bit depressing because I don't really have a lot of family. And I don't have any kids. It just makes me wish, like, oh, I wish I had a kid here to be like, congratulations, you know? So it's a little bittersweet. But I'm so thankful for you guys, honestly. If you guys haven't got the book, go get the book. I'm so thankful for you guys. You have no idea. <laughs> Somebody said, girl, we're your kids. What the hell? <laughs> Okay, right, you're right, you're right. I'm crying. What's the book about? The book is a sequel to See, I Was Right. So it's the second book from my first book, See, I Was Right. What happened to the author picture? A lot of people have been asking me about the author picture, but I didn't take one. It wasn't going to be any room for it. I didn't know where I was going to put it. It was just too much. I might do one just because it's funny. But, I mean, I don't know. I'll try to figure it out. Y'all, I literally looked up, like, places to get headshots and everything, like, for real. I know you guys know what's going on with Zeus, but I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what's going on. But I had a really good meeting with Lemmy. We came up with some really good stuff. Um, and I'm really excited. I hope that... You guys love my thoughts, um, but I'm not going to tell you guys because I don't want to mess anything up for myself, but yeah. You said we're the, you're the only one we want on Zeus. Well, make sure you guys go blow let me up and tell him that. Please make sure you guys let him know every single day, every single moment so that he's aware. I mean, we know that. I know that, we know that, but like, you know, sometimes you gotta just press the issue. <sighs> update on the teeth. I posted an update yesterday. I'm getting my teeth redone. I just started the process yesterday. Um, It's just a long ass process, y'all. Like, it's going to be crazy. It's going to take a month for my teeth to be fully done. But I started the process yesterday. Um, Yeah, I mean, I just need to completely redo them. It's pretty messed up, but whatever. I'm just ready to get it over with. It's going to be painful, but I'm just ready to get it over with, honestly. That was a sneeze. That was me trying to hold in my sneeze. Are my sensory issues still affecting me? Yes, really badly. I've been having some pretty bad days. I don't know why it is going on. Because, like, for a second, I didn't feel like they were completely better. But I definitely felt like it was, like, manageable. Now, I don't know if I've, like, been slacking on my vitamins or something. But it's been pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. Where am I going? I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> right now, I want to go somewhere. I want to go shopping. I want to go eat. I want to go do something. I'm like sitting in this house on 
I mean, obviously I had to drop the book, so whatever, but I want to just go outside. It's so boring in LA right now though, y'all. Someone said I'm high. I don't get high. I don't do drugs. I don't even smoke weed. I don't like weed. I get paranoid. It looks nice out. <laughs> Not me looking out the window. It actually does look nice out. Why am I being so proper? Am I being proper? I feel like I'm just chilling, y'all. I'm just chilling. <laughs> Can I chill? Weed isn't a drug. I mean, whatever floats your damn boat. I don't care. You know what I'm talking about. Don't be trying to be all. Uh, yesterday, people were attacking you. I know I saw it on the blog saying that you always complain about every surgery. I do not complain about every surgery. I saw that blog post me about my damn teeth. I do not complain about every surgery. Y'all don't even know. Like, first of all, the first surgery I ever got was my boobs. Okay. Do y'all remember when I got my boobs done? It used to be flat chested. That was years ago. I loved getting like my boob job experience. Like I had a great boob job, had a great doctor, had a great experience. That was my first surgery ever. Boom. Second surgery, got my BBO. Terrible experience, ended up botched. I really wasn't that educated on BBOs like how I am now. I went to somewhere out here, a very bougie place that messed me up. And I was public about it because we're in a BBL pandemic. So obviously I'm gonna, you know, let people know what's going on and try to help some people out. That's really the problem. People are ungrateful. Like I could sit up here and be like, oh no, everything's fine. Everything's okay. I'm perfect. Oh, everything's great. Why would I do that when I'm trying to help other people out and bring awareness to situations? Like there's so many people who are like, celebrities famous who get botched who go through terrible surgeries who are too embarrassed to a even admit that they had work done and then b admit that it went wrong because people reach out to me i have so many people reach out to me like oh my god that happened to me and blah 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 blah, blah whatever y'all know i don't care i literally don't give one Y'all know that I'm very open and very vocal on all my platforms because I do not look at myself as an influencer. I literally just look at myself as me. That's it. That's it. Like, I'm not worried about an image to uphold, like, period. So, with my veneers, even my veneers. I got my veneers done six years ago. I was open about getting my veneers, veneers done, but I had a great experience. I didn't have anything go wrong. So, obviously, I'm not going to continuously talk about it i'm just like got my veneers done had a great had a great experience period when i got my bbl revised by dr jung and had a great experience i came on here and said i had a great experience i didn't get that for free i didn't get these things for free i paid for these these surgeries these cosmetic procedures i'm just being real like what so now it's like pretty much everybody knows about my first bbl being botched so now they're just like you always do this i don't always do this i've had more than one surgery i've had more than two so it's just so dumb like people just pick and choose because first y'all want to sit up there and be like oh, you guys want to lie about getting surgery and keep it in the dark we know what you did we know you had surgery you got surgery for attention then when it's like yeah here's the real truth behind this stuff it's like you always got something going on isn't that your sign to quit getting work babe i quit getting i decided that i'm not getting any more work done after the whole bbl situation but with veneers you have to get veneers redone so i had my veneers for six years it was time for me to get them redone i didn't have a choice once you get veneers that's another thing no just because you got twenty thousand dollars now and you may have saved that up even be prepared to have that same twenty thousand dollars thirty thousand dollars in 10 years or even less when you need to have it again it's not a one-stop situation and like you know period it just irritates me it's like people always like you know pick and choose 
what they want to be upset at and blah 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 it's like be happy that i'm telling y'all little raggedy asses was really behind the scenes of this stuff because first of all a lot of people be scrounging up their pennies to get a damn bbl because they want to follow the damn trend not knowing a lot of people who get bbls and get surgery get it multiple times ask any girl who has had a bbl one of the one of the lit girls whatever ask these girls how many bbls they've had when people told me move orion when people told me oh yeah a lot of people get multiple times i was like no i was like no i'll never get another one like blah 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 you have to because your first results most of the time what these doctors don't tell you you're probably not going to get the results you want especially when you're built like a fridge a lot of y'all go and get these bbls and you're built like a fridge and you think that these doctors are going to be able to sculpt you into your dream body it's not realistic you're gonna have to get two rounds three rounds four rounds and girls do it 100 percent. the only thing that i got lucky with with my body is that i already had a naturally nice shape i already had a naturally small waist i already had naturally wide hips i already naturally had big legs and a big butt that was the only thing. I, that's why my shape is so nice. That's the only reason why. It's literally how you come in that motherfucker. So people be walking in there looking like a damn bag of baked beans and walking out like, well, why don't I have winter shape? Or why don't I have so-and-so shape? I just paid $10,000 to get this and I now I need another round. Now I need another round. Yes, that's what happens. That's the reality behind this stuff with veneers going to get $2,500 veneers you're they're going to be popping off they're going to be chipping they're going to be discolored you're going to be in pain all of this stuff what I made a mistake with my veneers was I wasn't trying to spend $30,000 I was only trying to spend 10 I spent my little 10 bands whatever I'm like okay cool you know whatever no, don't do that. Go spend that 30000 because now I'm about to have spent $50,000 this year on my teeth alone. And I'm not exaggerating. About 45, 46. Literally. Because I decided I wanted to be cheap and go spend $10,000 in Miami getting my teeth redone when I should have took myself to Beverly Hills and spent that 30000 and not had problems for the last six months. It's not about, ha ha, oh, you got botched and oh, you always got a problem. This is what goes on. Be thankful that I'm being honest because now when you think that you wanna go get your teeth done in Tijuana, you're gonna say, hmm, remember what happened to winter? Maybe I should get my money up and go to the more expensive place. Do you understand? Is everybody following for the people who are on Hollywood Unlocked today? Did I get them fixed yet? No, I started the process of getting them fixed yesterday. But this is really the truth. Someone said porcelain lasts 15 to 20 years. Unfortunately, babe, that is not accurate. They say that, that, la that that's true, but you will have cavities underneath your porcelain if you do not. First of all, even with my first set of porcelain veneers, I had a couple teeth chip. I had to get a few teeth redone on the top after about maybe like a year because they were discoloring. They don't tell you this. A, each tooth is $2,000. Sometimes more, depending on where you go. It's not going to be perfect. Like, period. These people are telling you this because they want your money. It's that simple. You're not about to tell nobody. If you're trying to sell somebody some damn teeth, you're not about to sit there and tell them, well, they may pop off, they may chip, they may discolor. They're not going to tell you that. They're going to tell you it's going to last 15 to 20 years. You're not going to have to do anything. Everything's going to be perfect. We have you. You're in the best hands. Didn't you see this person came to us? Didn't you see that person came to us? Everybody's different. Don't follow nobody else's case. Do 
do I miss my real teeth? I mean, after this whole situation, like my first veneers, like I really didn't care too much because I was like, I'm not in pain every day. But looking back, like with the painful situation that I'm in now, I wish I would have just kept my real teeth. I had fine teeth. Like you guys can, if you go watch BGC, you see my real teeth. I didn't have terrible teeth. Like I could have got them a little bit straightened. I could have got them a little bit whitened, like and had a perfect freaking smile. But at the time, I wanted my teeth to be, be perfect. My boyfriend at the time was like, I told him that I wanted them and he said that he'd pay for them. So obviously I'm going to be like, cool, I'm about to get these teeth paid for and go get my teeth done. Shouldn't have got my teeth shaved down because now I have no option but to have my teeth done. It's not like I could take these off and just be like, I'll just have my real, real teeth. No, my teeth are shaved down. It's not an option no more. If I was good before, why did I get that done? Get all of that done? Simple answer is I wanted to. I wanted to get my boobs done. I wanted to get a BBL. I got my teeth done because I had an opportunity my boyfriend was paying for it. I wanted to get my teeth done. I don't think there's anything wrong with enhancing yourself. I don't think there's anything wrong with doing what you want to do. I'm just saying these are really the risks. Do what you want to do. Simple. <laughs> Am I wearing contacts? No. <laughs> were my teeth shaved down the first time? Yes, they were. Will the pain go away once I have them redone? So the kind of stressful thing about it is like, I don't know if my sensory issues are going to be solved through getting them redone. I don't know if the pain is going to stop. I don't know if I'm going to be able to freaking close my mouth properly without being in pain. I really don't know, but it's a risk I'm willing to take because that's how painful, how much pain I'm really in. I will spend whatever money I need to spend to get this situation handled. Cause it really like, I, it's like my quality of life has gone down. I'm always in pain. I'm in pain right now. There's not a moment that I'm not. I, it's like living with, with chronic pain. I now, I now know what it feels like when people are like, oh, I have something that causes me to have chronic pain. I'm in pain all the time. I never could understand that. I never could understand how that's possible. How people could just live like that. Now I live like that. I've been living like this for six months. And it's miserable. Like, I really feel like I never thought I would be one of these people who have to go through something like this. But, I mean, it is what it is. And, like, I'm going to keep being transparent just because I really don't wish this on anybody. Like, seriously, it's really scary. It's scary. It's painful. It's, like, it's just terrible. Also, you guys, I know you guys are in here. My my um, book is available to order right now. It just dropped an hour ago. The link is in my bio if you guys haven't got it or if you guys thought it was sold out. Can I sue the dental center? So I don't think I can sue for malpractice, but I'm learning a lot more and I am going to be able to file something. Um, to me, it's really not even about the money at this point because they already called and tried to offer me some weak ass amount of money. And I was like, absolutely not. And then they were like, okay, well, what if we just give you your money back? And I was like, you know what? Absolutely even not because I even, I've spent so much more money from this. It's like, I don't know. No, I don't know. I'm going to try, but it's a really tricky situation when anything like medical is like, you know, going on. Also, guys, don't forget to go blow up um, Lemmy, Lemmy's DM and tell him um, we want winter, we want winter, we want winter, just, you know, to annoy him because I think it's funny. She probably signed a waiver. A waiver for what? 
Oh, the consents that you sign. Yeah, but at the end of the day, like, when they don't do what they're supposed to do, which they haven't, you can, like, sue because they didn't do what they're supposed to do. Obviously, I'm in freaking pain. My teeth aren't even bonded properly, like, from my x-rays. My teeth aren't even fully, like, properly attached how they need to be attached. So they didn't do what they needed to do. So, yeah, they can go to hell. They know that, though. That's why they had their lawyer call me trying to offer me some money. To quit telling people what they did. Go to hell. Please go to hell directly. They have me blocked on Instagram. They have their comments limited. I don't even think you can comment my name on their Instagram. Are these tapings? No, this is a weave because my hair is so short now. I can't get tapings right now. Am I pregnant? No. La la la. I saw you at the airport the other day. Who was at the airport? I was in the airport like last week or a few days ago. Last Wednesday. Yeah, one week ago. But anyways, y'all. If you did not get my book, my book is available. It's in my bio. Make sure you go order it, order it, order it, order it, order it, order it, order it. I'm also, I'm going to do a book signing in LA. I'm going to announce that. And then, um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I'm trying to think. Get the book, get the book. I think I'm going to go live and I'm going to read a couple pages of the book so i think i'm gonna do that later on so thank you guys so much for everybody who already got the book i love you guys so much i appreciate you um i'm excited all right thank you guys go order it go order it it's in my bio seriously go order it i'm not even joking i'm not even joking <laughs>